I bought it in store, but I didn't have enough hands to learn about the platform, so I discarded it. So today I'm just going to show you how to build usual Dashnet pages. But I've not done anything with the ecom yet, so I can't teach you anything about that yet, but I will teach you how to build the Dashnet. So just click on getting started, and you just want to log in up here to DNP, which is Dashnet pages. Okay, so the next thing, I've already built this website, so it's just a simple one-page website that, um, well, you, when you just look at it, look at it, it just shows you um, my video and my link, which is what I really just wanted to put out there, and it looks a lot better on the phone, so let me just show you how I did that. First of all, you're going to need your subdomain name. So in this case, uh, I guess I would choose um, J. Uh, probably um, not choose J. Uh, um, or maybe business business. Then and if you have a description, you can add it there, but I don't really have a description because this is just a tutorial. So you just add your website. So once it's uh, published, you just click on the link. So right now you have options of what you can do with the page and you can create three pages under each each of subdomain. So um, I would suggest clicking on add a page. So these are the pages that are already here or you can upload your own custom page. So this is lead generation, sweet stakes, redirect page and custom page. So I'm going to show you how to do the lead, the, uh, lead generation page. You just click next. And then it's so easy because you can select the theme. So I chose a theme before, which was this one. So let's just choose um, probably this one. Or maybe the business guy. Sorry, I'm on this one again. So after that, you're just going to select the logo. So um, I'm just going to choose one of my regular logos. Uh, this is for my actually my other side, so I'm just going to use it temporarily. Then, if you have a background image, you can use that. I suggest finding a background image from Pixabay or on Splash. And when you find a background image you like, you can just select it and download it for free. When you've downloaded it, you can just drag it. I'm using Chrome browser. You can just pick it up and drag it and drop it. I'm waiting for it to load. So now that it has loaded, I would honestly not want, um, I wouldn't want it to keep repeating itself and looking weird, so I would click cover. And then I'll add a text background box so people can see what I'm doing. And I usually just choose black or white or any other one, but um, since it's a black image, I think I'll choose white. Or maybe black, just to see how it is, because I don't know how it's going to be. So. Then the content you want your main headline to be that. So let's say learn new course. Learn do new business course. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. 
So after you do that, then you can now come here and then you're just going to select the size. Um, usually I like my text very big, so I usually just keep it to about 57. And I always make sure my text is white since I'm using a black transparent for background. Then my subtitle is going to be Don't you want to be different? You don't have to put your own information as the same as mine. This is just pertaining to my own course or what I'm doing. So then you can choose a cover image or you can choose a video. So um, I think I will show you how to do the video. So this is the text above the video, which means what you want to state on top of the video. So I would say, join us now. And then I leave that there. Then for this, you need to embed a video. So I will go to youtube.com and I will show you how to embed a video. If you have other uh, video platforms, you'd have to uh, ask them or figure out how to embed it yourself. So let's just try identity branding with um, the course I'm going to, the video I'm going to use. I'm just going to click share and then I click embed and then I'm just going to copy this and then I'm just going to paste it. So once I paste that there, if I need to change any other thing, I will change it. But right now, I don't think there's anything I need to change. Then I would say text on button. What, the, what do you want your button to say? So I think I would want my button to say 50% um, uh, off only today. You can choose whatever you want your button to say. And then you can choose the color of your button. I like red if it seems urgent. And then you can choose delay and button target or URL, which can lead people to anywhere you want. But I wanted to collect, I want this particular button to collect um, details like the form details. So I won't put any special URL. You can take, you can also add Facebook comments. You can add Facebook likes. Uh, you can just add that there. But I'm not adding any of those because I don't have any Facebook page yet. So then you can set a timer, which means that um, it's going to be counting down. And when it ends, your user is going to be redirected to a different page. So um, I, I don't really want anyone to be redirected. So I'm going to put no, but you can add a timer there. And I'm going to click form. If you already have added your auto response, um, then you can just click this and it should drop down with your list and everything. I'm using MailChimp because it's free and then your email name and then you can you can also choose the button right before you want on the button, button you can say 50% uh, 50, 50 off or uh, whatever you want and then you click next. When you're done with that you can add um, tabs on the top which is for navigational purposes so if you've created your terms and conditions page and all this information, it should already be preloaded here. I'll go back and do this on this particular website so you can see it. So let me just skip this for now because I'll go back and do it. If you have a thank you page from your website, this is where this thank you page of when someone signs up is how I was able to connect my payment gateway. So if you're using Stripe, you should be able to create a product using stripe and then you just add the url to that product here which means you can now get get people to pay for what you're advertising so you redirect them back to stripe and then after they pay on stripe you put your thank you page on stripe back to the page you want to lead them to so let me just show you what i mean on my own website myself I'm sorry, I can't type today. <laughs> so, so for this instance, once I click this here and I just add a name and I just put an email and I click and this, it's going to redirect me to my payment page, which is paystack.com. I'm in Nigeria, so I use paystack. And then I click buy now and I review. And once I make pay, purchase, it's going to lead me 
So once I click purchase or and I fill in the information, it's going to lead me back to the the payment gateway page on this. So I have a digital product payment gateway page already with Dashnex and I can make it in five seconds. So you add your link here. I don't have a link to show you. Then you add your metadata here. This is for your SEO, meaning anytime somebody puts your website link somewhere, the name will show, description, meta key, all those ones, so you fill it up. I did not put anything here because uh, I've not gotten there yet. So you click next and then you click save. You have to put a name here, so maybe business course. And then you click save and publish. Okay, I'm having an error somewhere. I think I forgot to put the name somewhere. Okay, so this is meant to be business course, and I'm meant to add a description. Let's say blah 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 blah. blah. And then I'm going to jump back to publish and save, save and publish. And now my site should be created. I'm going to right click it now so you can see what I've done. So it's not 100% complete, but I think we've done something. So if you have a custom domain, it's going to show here. But for me, this is what it's showing. It says learn this new course. Don't you want to be different? Join us now. This is the color. This is the video I want to show. And um, this is over what I just wanted to show on this website. And that's um, basically how you create it. You will fill the other details with your own personal information. This is just an example website that I have created to show you. Then the next one, you can add another page. Let's not add this one now. Let's try adding, let's try adding a redirect page. A redirect page means you want it to go somewhere else. You want um, people to be able to re be redirected. So let's say I want to link my business course to, um, I would say without this because you're not technical enough. So I'll say I want to link my business course to um, my other course that I made. So once I do that, I'm going to click next. Okay, you have to write HTTPS dot slash slash. So I'm going to click next, next, and then I'm just going to put LE skills here, and I'm going to click save and publish. So what that means is that on this page, if I click, if I ever click on the link, um, it's going to redirect me directly. So let's see. This is, as you can see, business dash course dash next page LE skills. As I click on that, see where it takes me. It takes me directly to LE skills and does not keep me on that other page. This is useful because in your navigation, you pages that are not yours. So it's always very useful in your navigation. So this is useful and it's a very useful tool. So next, we're going to. We're going to try. We're going to try adding a sweepstakes page. So I'm just going to click on this and click next. And then you have between these two, you can preview it to see what you're going to be getting. And so you create this background, and then you have a video here. You have this information here, and you get you give people the chance to register. So um. I would suggest using this page or this page. And they both look super cool and super in. So you can just add the information here. So let's select it now. We'll put a name and internal description of a business course. And we're going to select next. And then you need to add your image here and you have a title you can add details you can add a disclaimer then you can go to settings you can add your timer if i were you i would put manual let nobody be able to select the winner you can just click the manual one there 
then for form remember if you've added your autoresponder you can just add your list automatically and for footer you can add this information or edit this information this is a very nice one to do thank you page you can just add um, your information as i said before meta is your seo and publish so um that's the tutorial for now thank you so much have a lovely day goodbye